In the ancient town of Abeokuta, the mighty Olumon Rock stood tall, watching over the Egba people. It wasn't just a big rock. It was a symbol of strength and protection. The people believed that as long as they stayed brave and clever, Olumorok would keep them safe. In a small hut, Abeni, a curious and adventurous girl, loved listening to her grandfather's stories. Long, long ago, grandfather said, Olumorok protected our ancestors from danger. It has secret paths that only the bravest know. Abeni's eyes widened with curiosity. Could those secret paths still be there? Abeni thought. Every day, Abeni helped her mother make a dere. She dipped the clothes into the rich blue dye, her hands stained with indigo. But whenever she finished her work, she hurried off to explore Olumorok. Mama, she said, may I go to play at Olumorok? Go on, my child, but be careful, her mother said. One sunny afternoon, while exploring the rock, Abeni noticed the small entrance hidden behind some vines. She remembered her grandfather's stories about the secret paths and decided to take a look. Hmm, this must be one of the secret paths, she said. She carefully crawled through the entrance and found herself in a narrow tunnel. The tunnel led to a hidden clearing at the back of the rock. Abeni felt proud of her discovery, knowing that this could be important someday. One day, news spread that Chief Olojo, a fierce and cunning enemy, was planning to attack Abeokuta. The elders gathered to discuss how to protect the town. We must prepare and defend our people, said Chief Adiola, a high chief in the palace. Yes, and we must make sure they don't capture Olumorok. We must do everything possible to defend our people and make sure that Olojo does not get access. To Olumo. Abeni, who had been listening quietly, decided to speak up. I know a secret passage through Olumo Rock, Abeni said. We can use it to surprise Chief Olojo. The elders remembered that there were hidden paths, but no one seems to know where they are anymore. So they were shocked when they heard that Abeni knows one of these secret pathways. After thinking about it, they agreed to listen to a plan. Abeni showed the warriors the hidden entrance. Together, they made a plan to use the secret passage to sneak behind Chifologia's army. But Abeni had another brave idea. I will act as bait and lure Chief Olojo into the rock, she said. Then we can trap him inside. The elders were hesitant at first. But Abeni's determination convinced them. On the day of the battle, as Chief Olojo's army approached, Abeni stood confidently at the entrance of Oluma Rock. She called out to him, Chief Olojo, if you're truly brave, come and face me inside Olumorok. 
Chief Olojo, thinking Abeni was just a child, smirked and ordered his men to follow her. Capture the girl and the rock will be mine, he shouted. Abeni led Chief Olojo and his men deeper into the rock's tunnels. Inside, the warriors waited silently in the shadows. Chief Olojo and his men soon realized they were surrounded. Ah! Now, Chief Adiola shouted. The warriors charged, taking the enemy by surprise. Chief Olojo tried to escape, but a Beni and some Egba warriors blocked his path. Chief Olojo shouted angrily, You think a child can stop me? Abeni replied, This rock is not just a stone, it is the spirit of the Egba people, and I, along with these Egba warriors, will protect it with all our hearts. The warriors captured Chief Olojo, and his remaining men fled in defeat. People of Abel Kuta celebrated their victory with songs and dances. Abeniola praised Abeni for her bravery. Abeni, you are as brave as any warrior, Chief Adiola said proudly. You have honored the Egba people and Olumorok. Abeni's heart swelled with pride, knowing she had helped to protect her home. She danced with pride as her friends rallied round her, singing the Egba anthem. Later, Abeni sat with her grandfather, who smiled warmly at her. Abeni, you have shown great courage, grandfather said. You honor the Lumorok and our people. I only did what I had to, Grandpa, Abeni said. As the sun set behind the Lumorok, the people of Abeokuta knew they were safe, thanks to Abeni's bravery and cleverness. And from that day on, Abeni's story was told to children, reminding them that true courage comes from the heart. Please share, like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get to be the first to watch next episodes. See you next time.